Hallo Leute und willkommen zurück zu Tales of Beseria. So, in der letzten Folge haben wir im Prinzip herausgefunden, was diese Dämonenpest wirklich ist und auf dieser Klasse 4 Insel haben wir eben die Dämonen bekämpft. So, jetzt geht's aber erstmal zurück nach Logres. Wie komme ich da jetzt hin? Das ist die Stadt am Wasser. Wo war Logris? War das hier? Ähm, Edgar Zentrum. Ja. Ja, doch, das war's. I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. I... I don't even know what I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty! You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes. My mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! Uh, I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! <laughs> When I was her age, that's just how I cried. Come, Alana. I want you to see this. That huge owie. What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But do you think I'm scary, Kamalana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not Lafisset. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> okay. That scar, was it from a demon? Yeah, they attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? <sighs> the last thing she said to me was, stay strong and keep living. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafisette read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. And we think that passage means that Inominach and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inominat to create Therians, the song means that Inominat chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? 
that someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana. Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual, as I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again, or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm... So, in a nutshell, if you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body, so there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've got to protect my bug, too. Yeah, you take real good care of that thing now. Got it? You bet I will. In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. We need a hard-to-find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people, but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Hey, old man! Give me all the water and food you got! Wait your turn, moron! I was drifting out at sea for three days! Almost died out there! Wee poor you! You probably deserved it! Say that again, wise-ass! I dare ya! Ah, uh, shut up, both of ya! No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first! Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to more here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. Uh, yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. So, ähm. gut, wir sollen jetzt also Theorie uns einfangen. Da bin ich mal gespannt, wie wir das anstellen. Und sie hat jetzt... Das sieht irgendwie komisch aus. Gut, wo müssen wir jetzt eigentlich hin oder wo können wir hin? Auf die Fernstraße geht schon mal nicht. Da hinten sind noch ein paar Gespräche, dann holen wir uns erstmal die Gespräche ab. Just 
when are we going to be allowed free access through Vortigern? Having to go all the way around it every time is far too inconvenient. If they insist on building a big gate over the sea, the least they can do is let honest folk through it. I get why you're upset, but maybe they just haven't been able to devote the resources to fix it after those savage demons wrecked the place. Look, those demons who attacked Helavis are still in the loose, aren't they? Yep, standing right here. From what I heard, the demons who wrecked Vortigern were the same ones that killed the High Priest. What? No way. Wait a minute. The High Priest was killed? Yeah. The official story is that he's injured or sick or something, but I heard differently. Then no wonder they haven't had time for Vortigern. I hope the Abbey finds those demons quick. Those monsters need to pay for what they did. Hmm, looks like our infamy is growing by the day. Maybe they've even put a bounty on us by now. They keep embellishing our escapades, though. I'm honestly a little hurt they're calling us monsters. The more they embellish, the easier it is for us to get around. Confusion and panic will only help us. Hmm, das stimmt. Ja gut, dann mal zum nächsten Gespräch und dann weiter nach Logris. Everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias, our pride and joy, our weapon. And most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before, but she's one odd-looking ship. The Von Eltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy ship capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting if you ask me. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us. Here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure. Some are looking to test their fate. And some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a ragtag bunch of rogues, that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to help out you and yours. But you'd best not forget what we stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's why you boarded this ship. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. And then Eifried stole the ship. Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lover worthy of little notice. I suppose being a Reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the far continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Gut, ähm, 
dann wissen wir das jetzt auch. Dann auf zur Hauptstadt. Hm, wobei... Mal kurz hier einen Abstecher machen. Oh, wie praktisch. Man, I heard that the merchants in Port Renied are making a killing now that the Seagate is shut tight. No, no, no. Nothing compared to a merchant like you. There are people profiting from this? What are you talking about? Anyone who wants to head to North Gan has to sail around West Gan now. And those ships need to put into Port Renied for supplies. That is true. Still, it's only until Vortigern is repaired. Your friends in Renid wouldn't happen to be paying off the Abbey to delay repairs, would they? You think that'd work on the Abbey? They're not as lax as the church was. So that's it. You're in cahoots with the church. Hey, relax. I'm just saying, there's a lot of nasty rumors circulating about those priests. So not everyone's been hurt by Vortigern's closure. Interesting. There's a front and back to every coin. Except your coin only ever turns up tails. Hm. Gut. So, dann mal kurz hier drüben gucken, ob es was Neues gibt zu kaufen. So, irgendwas Neues. Ja, zumindest ein paar Sachen. Hm. Gut, wir kaufen wieder alles, was wir noch nicht besitzen. Und das war's auch schon. Haha, Kiste. Ab, hier ist der Speer. Moment, hier sollen noch, drei, äh, noch zwei Kisten sein? Sind die, die wir schon geöffnet haben? Ne, die sind schon offen. Wo sollen denn noch zwei Kisten rumstehen? Gut, das muss ich kurz absuchen. Kisten, Kisten, Kisten. Wo könnten sie stehen? zu. Gut, Expedition ist zurück. Gucken wir gleich nach. Hm, vielleicht hier drin? Nee, die ist schon offen. auch offen. Okay. Da ist sie. So, jetzt haben wir alle. Take a look at this. Great. Let's do this one run get you style, guys. They found a whole bunch. Hm. Gut, Level 15. Scout ship setting sail. So, jetzt haben wir hier aber alles erledigt. Dann geht's jetzt raus hier. Kontakte zur Unterwelt. The Bloodwing Butterflies operate in the Empire Shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, 
The Blood Wings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorias. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the Shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The incident with the Nectar was the Church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier of the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at dove mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? Dove mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! A black, full-chested dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? Oh man. Nicht wirklich. Gut, dann speichern wir das hier erstmal. Zack. So. Da mal kurz gucken auf der Karte. Gibt es da irgendwas Neues? Da hinten waren wir immer noch nicht. Na ja gut, da müssen wir wahrscheinlich jetzt dann hin, nachdem wir in Lorchris waren. Habe ich so das Gefühl. Here we are, back in Logris. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. More funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo. I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. I might have. Just a little. Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo, coo. Okay. Impressionism. Is Inominot's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost. A language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive, but none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. It's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avarost civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while. Hmm. Good. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Try as they might, it won't change anything. Gut, die Gegner sind anscheinend auch stärker geworden. Geh weg. Ich muss ja jetzt nicht alle bekämpfen. Verschwindet. A 
I'll finish this now. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Hey, is everyone all right? So, die sind alle erledigt. So, die Straße wird durch. Zack. So. Und dann, wie es in Logris weitergeht, gucken wir uns dann erst in der nächsten Folge an. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und ja, bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao, Leute. I will have my revenge.